Hey, this is Jeff Wick, editor of the Fayette County Record newspaper, and we have snuck over the county line into Lee County. That was Bill Lindbergh, and here's his wife, Barbara. We're here at Tejas Trading Post, uh, just right outside Giddings, uh, right off of 290, here with the first copy of the Fayette County Record, hot off the presses. Not going to be on newsstands until this afternoon. Um, Wait and a minute. I would like to shoot something. Oh, well, yeah, I guess so. All right, well, we've checked your background, and I'm sorry, this is all you're qualified to shoot. <laughs> this looks like my uh, my old Flash Gordon Ray gun. Well, shoot it. It's your heart gun. I'm going to shoot Jeff with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry you, you, you're, Andy. You're, I'm sorry you're not cleared to uh, fire anything more than that much. <laughs> but uh, why don't we go inside y'all's place? Yeah, that's Got bad. a wonderful business here. Talk a little bit about the news, and uh, then talk about some of the great things y'all have for sale here. Uh, just in time for uh, you know deer season coming up. Hey Bill, what was that uh, you were firing in? Marlin Model 36. Marlin Model 36. 3030, made 1947. 1947. Now is that something that y'all have for sale here? Yes. Wow. How much would that be? This runs about 575. 575. So how long have y'all had Tejas Trading Post? Oh, we're coming up on our 25th anniversary sale. 25th anniversary, oh, 25th anniversary sale. Yes, right? the sale. So when is that going to begin? October 16th through the 20th. October 16th through the 20th. And uh, Tejas Trading Post is actually going to be our uh, cover subject for our hunting, fishing, and outdoor adventure guide, which is coming out uh, later this fall. But uh, let's scroll inside and uh, check out some more stuff here. Great selection of stuff in here. We'll talk about that in just a minute, but before we do, uh, there you go, officially, Barbara, the new copy of the Fayette Thank County you. Record. Andy and Poncho, y'all want to uh, take the viewers through some of the things people can find in the new edition? Yeah, sure thing. Um, <clears throat> we just learned this week that a, uh, a, a local woman, Mildred Dulberg, donated $100,000 to the LaGrange High School band program. That's uh, a heck of a gift. <laughs> wow, what a great gift. Uh, she wants that money to be spent on uh, instruments for students that can't afford them, and then um, and also for uh, scholarships for students in interested in uh, college music pro music studies. Um, also, uh, uh, Texas Land Commissioner uh, George P. Bush visited Lagrange yesterday and announced an 8.7 million dollar housing recovery grant. Uh, Jeff, you were at that meeting. What did uh, Yeah, I was out at that meeting, uh, hobnobbing with uh, let's see, uh, old uh, George P. Bush is the son of Jeb Bush and the uh, nephew of uh, former President George W. Bush and the grandson of former President George H. W. Bush. But yeah, he was in town. Um, $8.7 million in federal money is going to be uh, coming to LaGrange for construction of some more rental units, possibly apartments, possibly homes, uh, to kind of make up for a lot of the rental uh, uh, things that were destroyed in Hurricane Harvey. Where uh, do I sign up? <laughs> hey, uh, he's also neck deep in controversy over the uh, Alamo down in San Antonio. That's outside of uh, the scope of our coverage, though, oh, Poncho. That's, that's San Antonio news. <laughs> uh, big groundbreaking was held for the new elementary school at LaGrange ISD. Uh, lots of dignitaries there uh, with uh, shovels in hand and hard hats on their head. Let me pimp my story here. <laughs> uh, weekend sports opinion. Lordy, lordy. I think. Wait, there's this. Yeah, inside... Uh, Oh, go ahead, Andy. Yeah, it's uh, our uh, our fall and winter visitors guide. It's a glossy magazine with uh, uh, information about all kind of things folks that want to visit Fay County can come and do and see. And I'm sure everybody that lives here in Fay County or in Lee County, where we're at right now, uh, will uh, learn learn about some interesting things around the area. Uh, full schedule of events for the for the year and uh, uh, different stories from each town. Um, so it's uh, going out in today's newspaper to all of our subscribers, and it'll be on shelves all around the county, and, and at, all around the state, and all around the state at the uh, at the visitor center at the state border. I finally found one of my stories. Round top fixture: James Wessels is retiring after 48 years working for the Round Top service station. 48 uh, years. That's that's amazing. Interesting man, and a lot of stories from old. Old round top. You been doing anything for 48 years? Breathing. <laughs>
Taking up space. All right. Well, that's enough about the news. If you want to find out more, go grab those on the newsstand uh, available this afternoon. Uh, but let's turn our attention to uh, Barbara and Bill's place here, Tejas Trading Post. Just a wonderful uh, selection of things you have here. Uh, Barbara, uh, why, don't, uh, why don't we just stroll around and you can tell us a little bit about some of the things shoppers can find here. Uh, we have a full selection of ammo. We'll start right here. We've got all of our handgun ammo. Uh, we've got a nice selection of hunting ammo behind the counter there. Uh, if we don't have what you want, we can special order. Don't charge anything extra for that. Uh, We've got hearing protection right here that you'll you'll need for your practicing. And of course, Bill was wearing some of that hearing protection earlier. <coughs> it's uh, dove season right now, and they have a nice selection of uh, dove hunting accessories, your decoys, and uh, and different things over here. Now, Barbara, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, some of the guns you've got for sale? We have um, our revolvers over here. We've got selections from 22, 44 mag, 357s. Uh, right up here, we've got a new Caltech. Uh, it's their um, RDB. It's a 5.56 bull bullpup design. Uh, this one will run you. Let's see, 11.99. It's 5.56, so your AR uh, round is what that one is. Uh, we've got our hunting rifles over here. We've got uh, Savage, Mossbergs, uh, Remington, some Rugers. Uh, once again, we can special order anything that you don't don't see here. Uh, we carry, you know, different a lot of different brands, or can get a lot of diff different brands that we don't have in stock right now. Um, Full line of uh, holsters and gun cases and things like that too. Yes. idea how long uh, it takes to make uh, like for instance that uh, state of Texas arrowhead actually he can make one in about 30 minutes really yeah <laughs> a little faster than maybe the Indians uh, were able to do it over a campfire yes he's been been practicing a lot he's actually taught himself how to do it <laughs> wow. and as we yeah. walked in we passed a uh, uh, case of honey y'all actually have bees and uh, we do we just started uh, doing honey at our house so we'll have a Full supply of honey here next year. Didn't get a lot this year, uh, but we'll have honey and some creamed honey, maybe some flavored. Uh, just gonna see what what I can do with what what the bees give me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, remind viewers of uh, where y'all are located, hours of operation, days y'all are open, things like that. Okay, we're in Giddings on Highway 290. It's 2121 West Highway 290. Uh, we're just on the outs just outside the city limits of Giddings as you're going towards Austin, so the west side of town. Uh, our hours are Tuesday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and Saturday, 9 to 1. And y'all have been doing this for uh, almost 25 yeah, years. Yeah, 25 years, yes. What uh, Have you seen any big differences, you know, in, in people's preferences in terms of guns and uh, ammo and things like that over the years? Uh, well, a few years ago there was the AR scare. Everybody thought they had to get an AR before they couldn't have them anymore. Uh, that has slowed down. Everybody feels a little more secure about that, <laughs> that they're not going to be taken away. Um, but right now, a lot of people are buying uh, guns for home protection, uh, something they can carry with them, mm. uh, you know, carry on on their on their person for protection. Now, speaking of personal protection, one thing we did not talk about over here uh, that you've got for sale too is uh, a full array of uh, you know stun guns and things like that. Um, and 800,000 volts of stopping power. And uh, so I understand we're actually going to try this on Poncho right now. No problem. <laughs> All right. So uh, uh, I'll try this mace on you as you try to get Let's see who wins. Yeah, we'll time. have a little battle. This shoots five feet. You have to press that against my body. 
So let's see. I'm willing. I'm willing to you try. try that? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, seriously, uh, Bill, Barbara, thank y'all so much for having us here. And uh, you can learn more about them in uh, our hunting guide, which is coming out. Uh, j uh, hunting and fishing guide, which is coming out in just a few weeks. Look for that in the Fayette County Record. And anything else uh, you'd want people to know about your place here? <laughs> you, you've said it all. You've said it all. I've said it all. Yeah. yeah, just we do have our sale coming up, like we said. It's going to be October 16th through 20th. Everyone's invited. On Saturday, we're going to have KGID is going to be here uh, for doing a remote for an hour. We're going to have hot dogs and sodas, so making it a party. So everybody come on out and find some good bargains. Everything is – all the guns are going to be on sale. Well, uh, thanks so much for watching, y'all. You can always find us at FayetteCountyRecord.com. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, and all these videos go to YouTube as well. So thanks for watching, and thanks for reading the paper.